Hey guys, it's Chantrinas, and this is just going to be a life update. I haven't posted it in like a year, but if you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, you kind of have seen uh, things that have been going on in my life. And yeah, so I don't even remember like the last time I've updated anything about anything. I think last time I was on here, I was talking about being in school, but I did graduate. So I got my bachelor's degree and that was in, I think like 2020, like right when the pandemic started, I had just graduated. And yeah, I am in tech. I don't know if I've ever talked about what I was studying, but basically I was studying to eventually become a software engineer or a web developer, software developer, whatever you want to name them. And I ended up getting my first job as a software engineer right after college. I was very lucky, um, very, very lucky. And honestly, kind of surprised that I got the job that I got. It started off as an internship and then graduated on to them hiring me on full time, which is really cool. It's kind of a no name company. I'm not going to mention what their name was because it wasn't the best experience overall, but I am grateful that I was able to start there. Uh, yeah, so I was working there for about a year and like uh, six months or so. No, 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 like longer than that, maybe like a year and eight months. And now I am in the process of interviewing for my dream company, which I'm very excited about. And by the time this goes up, I'm gonna know if I got the job already or not. I, I, I know I got it. I'm not even worried about it. Um, just kidding, I'm actually very, very nervous. So while I was working at the last place, I was able to have decent healthcare, which was fantastic because before, I don't think I actually had any healthcare. Uh, it was just me out here raw dog in life. And I was able to go to the doctor. And yeah, I was able to go to the doctor. Uh, and then I started on antidepressants, which have been a fun experience. Um, by fun, I mean it was always terrible within the first couple of weeks while taking them. I actually started on Luxapro and then did not like that. I did It did not go well with me. So I started on something else called sertraline that has been so much better. Um, I think sertraline, the other name for it is Zoloft. I feel like that's right. I don't know. I could be wrong. It, I'll, I'll figure it out later, but I've definitely noticed a difference in uh, my overall mood. So that has been great. And I'm not as anxious as I used to be. I'm also a very anxious person. Like going out in public or like meeting new people. So it's been pretty helpful with that. If you've been thinking about starting any type of antidepressants or whatever for anxiety or depression, I would highly recommend it. Like you will definitely see a difference. And if the first one doesn't work for you, then try a different one. Oh my God, I'm sorry, my phone just rang. Oh my God, stop ringing. If you if you can find one. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? It, okay, so highly recommend them just make sure that you keep trying them and maybe different brands if the first one doesn't work for you and talk to your doctor about it because I did with mine and she kept recommending things until we found something that worked so you know what else is helpful emotional support animals so some other news that I have here I think you're going to end up seeing her come in in a few moments here but I got a cat and I've always wanted a cat but I was living with family and they didn't really like cats uh, or just like having a pet in general so I wasn't able to get one and now since I'm living on my own making that engineer money you know uh, living in Florida is very expensive I'm so grateful to be able to afford it and yeah I don't remember when she comes in but you'll see her on the background in a few in a few seconds. So I have a cat, her name is Tara. I adopted her from a local shelter. She is such a sweetie pie. Um, funny story, not so funny story, actually. I, <laughs> so my cat Tara decided she wanted to run away from me a couple days ago and not like fully run away. I just had the door open for my DoorDash food and she just managed to run out while I wasn't paying attention. And probably one of the, most terrifying moments of my life not really though but just 
I was so scared I couldn't find her. It was nighttime. Uh, eventually, obviously, I did find her and she's fine now. She was just grounded for a couple days. I, I was so scared. I was like, this girl is gonna be the death of me and I just got her. Like, I got her in February of this year and she's been with me ever since then. I've never had a pet before, um, like long term and she's my first kitty. I'm so excited. She's such a cutie pie. Okay, and now I feel like this is the perfect time to share my photos of my cat. So here's my cat. Um, here is also my cat again. Um, there's my cat walking in and my cat asleep and my cat asleep again. So if you are wondering what <laughs> she looked like, that is my baby. Uh, she is the best little kitty ever besides that one thing, you know. She's so funny. Okay, so you guys know how I used to have those bat decals on my wall. I decided to put some in my living room and I don't know what she thinks they are, but every once in a while I'll catch her like staring at the wall and then she'll try to jump up and swat at it like it's an actual bug on the wall. <laughs> Am I a crazy cat lady? Maybe. Maybe in the making because at this point I feel like, you know what? I feel like she needs a little friend. She needs a little, uh companion, if you will, a Bonnie to her Clyde, so, or her, a Clyde to her Bonnie, that, I feel like that makes more sense. That might happen eventually, I'm not really sure yet, but that's just something that I've been thinking about since I've gotten my first one. Another thing that I've been doing lately is using press-on nails. I was never really a press-on girly, but I've been watching a lot of TikTok accounts that show you how to do press-ons. Um, mind you, I'm still not really good at doing them, but I love how they look. So, you know, after videos and stuff, or like when I wanna take pictures and I'm trying to give a certain look, you know, I will absolutely throw on some press-ons and then snap them right off right after I'm done. I'm gonna be honest, I cannot type with long nails and I do a lot of typing, so I need my nails to be short when I'm typing and long when I'm trying to serve a look. And that's exactly what I do with my press-ons. I'm gonna show you the ones that I had on in the beginning of the video coming up soon. And I got them on Amazon. I have a bunch of stuff in my Amazon like shop that I wear, that I like, that I use on my hair, that I love. Uh, in general, for overall everythingness, from hair to makeup to, I think I got some clothes on there too, shoes that I like. So if you are interested in any of that, then I will check out my link tree. I'm pretty sure I can say that on video here. I don't know. I haven't made a YouTube video in forever, but I do have a link tree so you can see all of my favorites and whatnot. I also have that bat. Um, why did I say that? It's a freaking spiderweb. It's the spiderweb fan that I'm gonna show you in a second that I've been using in the video. That's also on there so you can buy it. It is so cute. It was only like 15 bucks. What a steal, am I right? And look how cute it is. So here are the nails that I'm gonna show you in just a second. I'm gonna be honest with you, they're cute as heck, but they are very flimsy and I would only wear them for like less than a day. You see them? Look, look how cute those nails are. Stupid gems already popped off. I've worn them once. So dumb. Why 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 would they wear off already? Okay, bye.